Welcome, I'll be reacting to Outlander Season 5, Episode 9. This is not a market substitute, support the original. So after two, probably deliver this baby all by yourself. <laughs> Make me feel better that you'll be here. Want to share it with me? Is it? Mother? That's Mama. Mm -hmm. I never would have thought their relationship would get to this stage based on how they first met. So pretty. Coming! Move yourself! No. <laughs> My blanket. <laughs> uh, meat is meat. I could do with a good marksman. So, Brianna? Um, I'm supposed to be helping dye the cloth today. And I have been really looking forward to it. I need able-bodied men and... able-bodied you are. <laughs> I'll wait outside. Can we get crosshair in here to teach Roger how to shoot? <laughs> Were Buffalo endangered yet in Roger's time? Because he might not be okay with this, if they are. Only three cows in the ridge. It's not one of them. It's still warm. Oh my so God. lots of buffalo. Go. I must reload. Ah. <gasps> oh no. Poor snake. Snake. What is it? I have to cut it. Drain the poison. By sucking it out. Claire does this. Before she sets herself to cut someone. Oh, he's learning. So cute. <clears throat> I don't know too much about the snakes in this region and which ones might be venomous. Let's go back and take a look, closer look at the cute little snake. Three rings of light. Copperhead is more beautifully kind of like in and out pattern. So not one of them. Cotton mouths. Oh, what a pretty snake, but definitely not that one. Timber rattlesnake. Yeah, they look like the rattlesnakes around here. So not that. Eastern diamondback rattlesnake, no. And Eastern coral snake. Oh, wow, that is a beautiful one. The Stars app makes it very difficult to pause and look at something. You have to keep going back and rewatching it. It's really frustrating. Look at that little face. I don't know. There's also a lot of black on it. Sorry, I love snakes. Okay. Thank you for humoring me. Enough! No three me dry. Oh. Ah, oh, there's no sign of anyone. Can you walk? Really, Jamie? Wouldn't even accept a hand up? When will these two ever get along? Oh, good idea for identification. It's a good day for dying. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you mean the cloth, Lizzie. That sounds so ominous. Hi. Good thing they're doing it outside. I've done some dying and it smells horrible. Well, for most people, life as they find it is often the life they lead. Mm. We talked about maybe teaching here at the Ridge. Just made me think about how I can't apply my calling here. If I were to lose you, or Jamie, I would never be quite whole. But I would always have that left. Yeah, being true to who you are. You're an engineer, Bree. And whatever it is they call that here. Be that. You just have to find a way to be that. Yeah. That land grant. They could make a university rather than traditional settlers and farms. She could found that university they talked about and she could design it. Just a thought. 
I'm smart. Make some noise, get people's attention. What a beautiful color. Maybe the Lord decided to make camp. I was wondering if he would eat the snake. Fair is fair. I pins and needles in my fingers. And my That's lips are numb. Oh no, the venom. Have you been drinking too much whiskey? <laughs> <laughs> I thought I might need that more later. Did you get in the last rites? Jamie. No. You won't be needing them anyway. You're not going to die. We both read that obituary. Bonnet has waged the war on us. We're defending our family. Our beliefs. Bonnet will try to claim your son as his own. If you want me to face Bonnet, you're gonna have to teach me to fight. <laughs> Roger, Mac. <laughs> well. Hopefully the worst of the fever is over. Could be Karen's boat. Oh. <laughs> hey, I like Karen. Almighty God, out of the depths I cry to you. Lord, hear my voice, don't let this man die. And people are heavy. I mean, you don't realize it until you have to lift dead weight like that. It's... it's difficult. Rollo, can you find them? Good boy, Rollo. But if his leg turns gangrenous, then... Then... How the whole red shirt looking for maggots? I thought I was been... No, I'm not so sure. Why? When you scold me like a magpie, I can I'm gonna be all right. <laughs> when you're tender as milk. <sighs> Is he going to lose his leg? Okay, what you're thinking, and I will not have it. I'm not gonna die in him. Then I wish to live my life with half a leg. And have a horror of it. But <laughs> older Ian did, and he was... If it's a choice between your leg... And your life. It's not. Yes. Perfect. Oh no. He's a great comfort. That Roger and Mac. Oh, finally. But I was the one who did it to him. That I didn't keep my word. Oh, Claire. It's an impossible choice. Come on. Now, what good? How would I be with only one leg? A lot did of Did you ever it. say that to my father? Or to exactly. Or a stubborn. Listen to Ian. I admired you so much. I ran away to Edinburgh to be with you. I never thought I'd see the day I'd be ashamed of you, Uncle. <sighs> He's acting like it's the worst possible thing that can happen to a man, and. Well, I didn't want you to be upset. In one stroke, he is going to be a man of leisure. What? Mm -hmm. We should be there for him when he needs us. We haven't had a long scene from Fergus in a while. I'm glad they put that in. No, 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 no. You stay with me. I think she just actually called him back. Just felt compelled for some reason. I thought maybe if Claire knew the species, it might help. I think I know what Brianna figured out. To get the venom out, the snake had to go through, which means they're hollow, which means you could use them to get penicillin in like a sort of needle, right? Like the vampire venom, but penicillin. Should I this one? You can pick it Uh-oh, the baby's coming. Yeah, I guess Marsley is going to be the one delivering her own baby after all. They were joking about it earlier, but I should have known. Back in their cheek, so when they bite down, the cheek muscles squeeze the venom out of the sac, down through the fang and into their prey. What? Bummer, their fangs are hollow. 
Jesus H. Ruth of our Christ. You made a syringe. It's not the same mistake. Feels fair. <laughs> I think it'll work. Plus, this will be easier to explain. When she had that really modern looking contraption, some people might ask questions. But if she came out with this, it's all made of found materials from the time period. Less suspicious. We're going to call her Felicité. Oh, oh, it's beautiful. Like the American Girl doll. Well, I'd like to point out that you are in fact alive. Hmm. <laughs> I didn't think you'd be one to gloat. But I still want to go with you to Wiley's Landing. Oh. Yes. <laughs> It wasn't a door exactly, more of a passageway of some kind. I had a choice. She did pull him back. You were the one thing that could bring me back. Yeah. I will always love you. When Jamie first got bitten by that snake, I figured, oh, he'll get ill and he'll recover by the end of the episode, which he did, technically. But that was really close. I genuinely thought maybe he'd have the leg amputated. And even though he didn't need to in the end, I think the fact that he worked through that pride, masquerading as honor, will be really helpful to him moving forward. Because I think that he grew as a person as a result of this, as awful as his experience was. And better yet, we now have a kind of a needle again, in a really clever way. I love the writing in this particular episode. I think it was really well done. And of course the acting was outstanding. I feel like everyone's relationship in this particular episode was deepened. And I think this was really an everyone coming together kind of a story. Looks like we got our own role. <laughs> I'm hoping that the next episode will be primarily about Ian because we still have not gotten the backstory on that yet, but more likely we'll end up seeing the bonnet storyline progressing. One of those two. Overall, I think this was particularly beautifully done as an episode.